What's up YouTube? It's your boy Ghetto coming back at you again. And today, what I wanna do is show you my workaround to get nearly unlimited tracks in the MPC Beat software. Follow me. So I'm gonna try to make this video pretty short, straight to the point. That's why I chopped down the intro. You're welcome. And let's go ahead and get started. We got the MPC Beat software open and we do have it in a brand new project. Now, the first thing you wanna take note of is anytime you open up the MPC software and you're in a brand new project, you automatically get a blank drum program. And that is this section right here. Now, what you wanna know about drum programs? Each drum program starts out with 16 pads. From there, each drum program also has eight banks, bank A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So in each of those banks, you also have 16 pads. So with all of that, 16 pads and eight separate banks, that gives you a total of 128 drum tracks. Each drum program can hold up to 128 tracks. Keep that in mind. Now, we're gonna go to the audio tracks. Now, in the MPC Beat software, you only have two audio tracks to utilize. What we're gonna do is show you how to maximize that. It's a really quick, simple, and easy workaround. I basically already told you everything you need to know. So inside the MPC Beat software, what you wanna do is go to your audio track. You wanna arm your audio track, which is this uh, red button right here. And then you want to set the input. Well, the input is off, so you want to set it to in if you want to monitor the sound. So now you can hear my voice coming through the microphone, or you want to set it to auto. When it's set to auto, you can monitor the sound coming in, and it will also let you hear the sound that's going out when you play back. Now the next thing you want to do is set your input. You can hear me uh, should be on the left side of the headphones if you're wearing headphones and you shouldn't hear anything in the right because it is set to a stereo input right now and the microphone is only connected to the right side or input one so what i'm going to do is change my inputs to a mono input and i'm going to select input one now you should hear me uh on both sides of the headphone as it's meant to be the next thing i'm going to do is we're going to do a test recording session now, before I start this recording, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is set my bar length because it's a blank project. The blank project is gonna start your bar length to whatever you have it set to by default. Mine is set to two bars. I'm gonna change it to eight. And I just clicked it and dragged up in order to change it to eight. You click it to drag it down. Uh, you can change it to uh, one or whatever you wanna do. So I got it set to eight bars. Uh, we have our input set. We have a monitor set so we can hear ourselves. Now let's record a test recording. So now I'm just recording this and letting you get a feel for the test recording. And you're gonna see exactly what we're gonna do with this audio in order to make it unlimited tracks inside the MPC Beat software. So now I'm just recording this and okay, so now we stop that. Um uh, go back to the beginning. So I'm just recording this and letting you get a feel for the test recording, and you're gonna see exactly what we're gonna do with this audio in order to make it unlimited tracks inside the MPC beat software. Okay, now that we have that audio track recorded, the next thing you want to do is go up here to this button right here, which is export audio and click that. And that'll bounce that audio down to a sample and put that inside your sample pool. Now you can go to your MIDI tracks and we have this uh, default drum program that's open. Take that audio, drag it to your pad. And now when we trigger pad one. So now I'm just recording this and letting you get a feel for the test recording and you're gonna see exactly what we're gonna do. So now I'm just recording this and letting you get a feel for the test recording and you're gonna see exactly what we're gonna do with this audio in order to make it unlimited tracks inside. Now we have that audio uh, on pad one of the empty drum program. And we're gonna go back to this audio track and we're gonna delete it. And now that it's gone, we can reuse that audio track again. 
Now, if you're uh, tracking in a live instrument, say you're recording a guitar or a, a piano that you have routed into the MVC beat software through your sound card or whatever it is you want to record, you can continue to track those out on a 16 bar or whatever bar basis. If you are trying to track out an entire song, what you want to do is go to song mode. Inside song mode, you want to format your beats to a full song. In this particular case, I'm just going to use this blank sequence. Uh, 12 times. That gives us 96 bars, which is more than enough to record a full song. Now, what you want to do is take your song formatted beat, and instead of exporting the audio like you would usually do, you want to convert this into a singular sequence. So how you do that is you go to this button right here that says convert sequence. You click on that, and it will take everything that you just put into song format and it's gonna add it to the next sequence in your audio program. So if you're on sequence four, it's gonna be sequence five. Uh, in this case, we only got one sequence, so it's gonna put everything on sequence two. Hit do it, and now we go to sequence two. Now there's nothing there, but as you can see, it listed all the sequences at the top. This would be your full beat if we had something recorded. And from here, Whenever you do record your audio track, instead of it just recording for a 16 bar loop or whatever the loop is set to, it's going to record the entire time of the sequence. So you could actually go in here and record a full song or a full verse, full chorus, all the way through to this beat. And then the same techniques would apply. You would take that full song version of this audio and then uh, export that out, drag it to a drum track, and then go back and delete the audio. And then all you have to do in order to play that audio through the entire length of the sequence is trigger that drum pad as soon as the beat starts and that audio will play through the full song. Now at this point, if I was recording a full song, I would be recording it to the full beat that I just composed and put in uh, the second sequence. As you can see, we have a set to sequence two, which is from that song, and it is uh, 96 bars. And audio track one is the track that we're currently recording on. Again. And we go back to the MIDI track. Drag that recording into the drum program and play it as soon as the beat starts. So, now at this point, if I was recording a full song, I would be recording it to the full beat that I just composed and put in uh, the second sequence. As you can see, we have it. And you go back to that audio track, delete it out, and you have another track to record on. Um, you can do this as many times as necessary. Now, if you do this with each track that the MPC Beat software gives you, um, you get eight MIDI tracks. That would give you a total of 1,024 tracks in order to use for song purposes inside the MPC Beat software. Plus, you will still have the two audio tracks available if you wanted to use them. I don't think anybody would need 1,024 tracks but if you need to get to that many tracks or you need more tracks than what's available, this is exactly how you do it. Thanks for watching. I'm out.